You might know this guy here, Dan Wooten, who said some bad things about Johnny in The Sun. Well, actually, that's what we're here to talk about. He said he didn't say bad things about Johnny, but I remember that he did. <laughs> so anyway, just to mention, Dan had some allegations against him, and Dan got canceled. You could say karma happened. But let's get into this recent news. This person here, Bron Marr, posts this. Remember when Dan Wooten called Giant Depp a wife beater in a Sun headline, prompting Depp to sue for libel? Well, despite News UK's victory in that case, Wooten now says he regrets writing it, arguing it was an infringement of Depp's privacy. We heard the apology. I'm sure most of you have. It wasn't that good. I say at least he acknowledged he should be apologizing. But the thing is, Dan answered this. And Dan says, Hi, Braun. I never called Johnny Depp a wife beater as I explained here. It was an online headline that I had nothing to do it. Am I getting that right? That I had nothing to do it. All right. Sounds strange to me. Anyway, I didn't write it. That never appeared in print. Facts matter. I guess he meant I had nothing to do with it. But I don't know, man. I think the headline counts. And of course, some Johnny fans posting it up. How can J.K. Rowling be genuinely happy to cast a WB Depp in film by Dan Wooten in pretty big letters? Now, I'm not going to read the article, but does it matter what's in there? The title is obviously, from what I gather, calling Johnny this certain name. Me T says, yes, you definitely did. Laura B says, hypocritical. Shout out to her, by the way. So am I crazy, or did Dan say that? And in this tweet here, which was a tweet at the time, Dan says, J.K. Rowling is a Hollywood hypocrite for standing by Fantastic Beast star Johnny Depp despite allegations he abused his ex-wife Amber Heard. Right, allegations. That's all they ever were. Today I reveal a backlash from the Me Too movement and demand to know why she's hell-bent on supporting Depp. Well, he didn't say it in that tweet, but right under it, I think he did. This you, Dan? This person also points out that tweet. You two Acrobat says, guess what? You republished the headline when you tweeted it. That was your endorsement. Didn't you say that? Liar journalist. Why didn't you go and testify that in 2020 then? Good question. Shouldn't Dan have been there? All right. Are you saying you don't believe he was a wife beater? Then say it. Go ahead. Yeah, exactly, Dan. Say you don't believe it. He won't say that, so right there, we could call him out. Oh, Dan, you boasted about it when headlines like this were in and you were liked and protected by many. Now that you're experiencing just a hint of what the victims of your greed have had to go through, you want to distance yourself from it. No way, Karma is calling you. Jacob says, no one's buying that, Dan. If you had nothing to do with the headline, then you should have told your editor to change it. And Melly asks why Dan would want Johnny to be fired in the first place. Why write that in the first place? I think, like this person up here says, it was like a in thing to do. You put your name to it, though. Didn't H try that one about a certain headline? Oh, I didn't see it. Give over. No one believes anything that comes out of your mouth. And that's my problem with Dan, is that even though my politics line up with some of his, how do I know what he's saying is genuine? How do I know he really means it? It seems like he does things for clicks and attention. But that's just my silly little opinion. And Barbara Sue says, shout out to her, by the way. She's a great supporter here. Thank you, Barbara. Hmm, did AH say it first? I had nothing to do with that headline, the op-ed she wrote about JD, or Dan Wooten say it first? I had nothing to do with the headline about the front page article. Yeah, exactly. It was a front page article. Facts matter only when it comes to you, you mean. You're really funny, you know. Those pants are red hot. No change there. I guess she means from the phrase, liar, liar, pants on fire kind of thing. Haven't heard that in a while. So that's basically it. Dan is going around talking to some people. And I mean people without big following. So on one hand, I kind of commend that. I think everyone should at some point, you know, talk to everyone. But of course, what Dan's saying isn't exactly what I agree with. So there is that side to it too. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.